Rocky, you ready? I'm ready, Judge. Ready for part two. When you're fighting for better superhero movies, there comes a point where you just have to kind of lay down the law. I'm the law. Two years ago, Pete Travis gave us the Judge Dredd film we've always wanted, even if certain previous Dredd movies left us thinking we didn't really want another one. You betray the law! But as great as Dread was, as of now, the future of the franchise is sort of in suspended animation. I judge this to be a travesty, and I'm here to give you three reasons why we could all use a little bit more Dread in our lives. I'm Will, and this is my war to make your superhero movies better. Reason number one, Dread redefined what a superhero movie could be. It was a violent, hard R sci-fi action fest, with a female co-lead, no less, that perfectly fits in the dystopian future. If all goes according to plan, it could not only be Dread who returns to rack up the body count, but Olivia Thirlby's Judge Anderson as well. Ready? Yeah. Judge Anderson, with all of her crazy psychicness, is the only real superhero in the equation. Plus, she grows up to kick major ass by the end of the movie. More violent superhero women, please. Unlike most superhero movies, Dread was able to remain loyal to the comic's fierce savagery. That's thanks to it being largely an independent production. I mean, can you imagine what would happen if they tried to make Dread a PG-13? <laughs> Reason number two, everybody wants another dread. I don't really understand why Lionsgate haven't got off their tails yet and put another Dread movie into production. Sure, it may not have raked in as much superhero cash as the Avengers or Spider-Man, but fans love the mega hell out of it. And that fan core has been making a lot of noise. And can consistently make you money. They've even started an online petition to get a sequel made. And let's not forget Carl Urban. Hey, Dread fans. He's the biggest Dread fan of all. And he definitely wants to do another movie. And you will help me do it. Urban is such a fan that for the first Dread, he demanded that the character keep his helmet on for the entire movie, so as to be in keeping with the Dread from the comics. Negotiation's over. I don't care who you are. Any actor willing to sacrifice screen time for authenticity deserves another chance to play their favorite hero. Did you hear that, Stallone? Well, yeah, but I'm just so pretty. And the final, most important reason, the Dark Judges. We're talking arch villains here. Batman came right out of the gate in 1989 with the Joker, and yet somehow we've had two Judge Dredd movies without Judge Death and his lawgivers from another dimension? Come on! The Dark Judges are some severely nasty customers who believe that being alive in itself is a crime, and they seek to punish the living. They would bring an even darker, horror movie style atmosphere to the sequel. And if you thought Mama was bad, Skin him. just wait until you meet the Dark Judge who murdered an entire school just for making too much noise. Thank you, Judge. And those are my three reasons why we could all do with a little bit more dread and a little less Rob Schneider. Actually, way less Rob Schneider. If you enjoyed any part of this long and rambling video, don't hesitate to give me a share or stick around for more Will's War. There's one here and another one here if you can't decide which one you want to watch. They're both good, kind of, maybe, but I would say that, wouldn't I?